Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 15 of I Create Content. All right, I want to thank you for joining me. It's Friday. We're actually uh, the first full day of the Designer Developer Conference here in Kansas City. Yesterday we had the pre-con workshops and actually tomorrow, Saturday, I'll be delivering my presentation on InDesign Interactive Media. So today I've got a quick Lightroom tip for you. Someone asked on Wednesday, what's the difference between the virtual copies that you showed us inside of Lightroom and snapshots that I see in the history panel? Well, let's go ahead and jump in. You can see here that I've got the two images of my daughter. The image that's on the right is actually the virtual copy. I know this because of the folded corner down in the bottom left. Now if I change to the develop module, I can actually work on the virtual copy. If you look to the left, this is the history panel, and the history panel inside of Lightroom is unlimited in number of steps. So there's quite a bit that's already been done to the image. If I decided I wanted to do something new with this image, but I wanted this version to stay and be my original copy, I could take a snapshot. That way, I have one-click access to this particular version of the image. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and click on the plus button next to snapshots. I'll go ahead and name this preset starting point. and hit create and now it doesn't matter what I do in the history I can click around change to all these different versions jump wherever I want but if I go to the snapshots panel I can always hit that starting point right so if I wanted to experiment and try some other things I could come here to the basics panel pull the saturation down could go ahead and play with the clarity right? I could go to my color panels or even turn this black and white if I wanted and try and mix some of the colors and you can see I'm just doing some awful things to the image but I can just click that snapshot and start over I can even because this is a virtual copy remember this is a virtual copy and the first thing that happened to it was it was created as a virtual copy well if I look in the history panel I could scroll all the way through this list the very first thing that happened it was created as a virtual copy well now I could save that as a snapshot so if I wanted to refer to this version of the image I could do so so if I scroll back up go to snapshots hit the plus symbol I can call this original image now I have two versions I can toggle very quickly between my preset and the original image so this would let me do some new things again I could go and make it black and white I could play around with the channel mixer okay, and brighten different things okay, within the image. So the snapshot stays on the one instance of the image, can be used with a virtual copy, can be used with the original image. But what I can't really do here is take several snapshots and compare them. I can compare two snapshots side by side you can refer to Monday's video where I did the before and after previews. So remember, you can assign a snapshot to the before preview. But if I had five different looks to an image, it really makes more sense to do the virtual copy. More specifically, if I had five different looks to the image, it makes more sense because with virtual copies, they can all be exported at once. With snapshots, you can't do that. So snapshots are really good for your develop workflow especially if you want to save different history points inside the develop module. So that's been a quick overview of the difference between snapshots and your virtual copies. Hey, we've kicked off yet another week of Lightroom. So next week I'll be bringing you some different videos related to Adobe products. As always, I appreciate your comments and your feedback. Keep those coming. You know you can catch me now on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. You can also leave comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. So appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful weekend.